My name is Elia Greffa. I'm CEO and co-founder of Oasis Insights. Also here with my fellow co-founder, Vincent. And Oasis Insights is a, a SaaS Web3 growth tool for marketplaces, brands, and merchants to boost their engagement and their sales by creating personalized campaigns all based on customers' wallet data. And as context, this is a quote by Alex Danko, head of blockchain at Shopify. And <clears throat> I really like this quote because um, it tells you a lot, right? There's a new kind of bar on the internet and these are buyers with wallets and they tell something really meaningful about who a person is. And they can really be thought of in a way about the same as uh, cookies in the web two space. And there's a huge amount of data available and only if it's used effectively. And this is a gold mine for marketers. There's over 400 million wallets out there and you can tell lots of different elements of data about those wallets, things like demographics, interest behavior, and specific data points, things like net worth, their interests, what kind of behavior are they making? And this creates a massive opportunity. We know that there are companies in this space already spending huge amounts of money. You've got 50 billion already spent within the commerce space. And companies want to be able to leverage this data for things like acquisition and marketing, where you already see companies typically spend around 5 to 10% of their revenues on this kind of activity. But there's very much a problem at the moment. It's difficult for Web3 companies to be able to understand data on customers and then be able to create campaigns from it. Companies that we speak to, they have just sections of raw data, aren't able to necessarily get insight on it. And then even if they are able to get the insight, how do they actually do anything with it and create effective campaigns that can get better acquisition and marketing? And even customers we speak to are painstakingly creating tools to get around this issue. Now, the solution Oasis Insights is we create insights and personalized campaigns specific to Web3 audiences, and this leads to increasing engagement and sales. Now, the way that we do this is we use um, data tags to create personalization, and this is a very specific campaign, one of um, the select that we have. And this talks you through the kind of journey that a customer would get once a campaign set up. So a customer would go to an NFT marketplace, for example, they would be able to see that there is an exclusive um, discount offer that they can receive, they would connect their wallet. And once they connect their wallet, they're able to then um, also enter their email, which allows us to make a Web 2 to Web 3 connection. And then they're able to receive that personalized offering specific to their wallet, which better converts them now. To bring us to life, this is an, an NFT marketplace mock-up. And you can see here, it's very generic, right? It's exactly what you would typically see at a marketplace, just the standard popular live bidding sections. Now, if you're able to connect your wallet uh, as, a, as a user, and then they, we're able to understand something about you, we then know that we're able to personalize that offering. So you get products specific to your interests. Now we can see here the amount that this wallet owns, and we also understand the interest that they have. And you can see here, these are exclusive NFTs specific to them. Now, this is incredibly powerful. You can know that you're going to get higher engagement. You know you're going to be able to direct sales because of the fact that you're able to personalize the offering that they have. Now, how do we do this? We get a wealth of Web3 data and we can understand 500 data points per customer. We can also do this across chains. And it's this wallet tagging that allows us to be able to tailor for personalization. So when a customer their wallet, we're able to understand our three tags. So things like average spend, net worth, but we can also understand elements of web two, the things about web engagement, even demographics, and also the data that we get on specific things, i.e. the engagement on them, the activity that they have. And then this allows us to create these personalized campaigns. Now we have a very easy to use dashboard. And from there, you can understand the customer analytics, your CRM, but also the easy to set up campaigns. And we went through one, which was on-site product recommendations, but we also have things like exclusive offers, being able to upsell and also personalized marketing. And these have clear results, uh, engagement, we've already spoken about increased sales, loyalty and, and increased revenue. Now, there's no other product like us on the market. In terms of what we can see for other competitors, we know that companies are looking at wallet insights and they're also making connections between Web3 and Web2 data, for example, in CRM and doing campaigns in some senses. But no company is, is able to really merge Web3 and Web2 data analytics um, like we are at the moment. And we also run very unique campaigns that isn't elsewhere offered in the market around personalized product recommendations, which is a unique area which we know works in Web2, which we're bringing to Web3. 
which also is another unique area around integrating directly um, with on-site you know, marketplaces and storefronts. Now, in terms of our, our traction so far, we've seen great interest from a range of customers, um, particularly marketplaces. Um, one call out is we've got Montro, one of the biggest watch marketplaces in the world, going into um, the Web3 space and excited to use our product on launch. We also have Web3 projects interested in us. We have um, Partus, which is a massive um, gambling house, and they are entered into Web3 and ready to use our product as well. And we also have a big amount of interest in the e-commerce space, Shopify, um, have yeah, lots of interest in terms of the Web3 standpoint. And we already have over 550 people in our Shopify community. Um, in terms of our go-to-market, we're very focused on NFT marketplaces, but also on Web3 native brands. And this is really because they excel in commerce. And we have three different go-to-market strategies. First of all, we're partnering with blockchains as a growth tool. So we're working with projects across you know, Ethereum, Solana, Near, but also have a strategic partnership with Tezos and Nomadic Labs. We're partnering and integrating with white label platforms, but also marketplaces so we can integrate with them and offer our solution and also integrating with e-commerce platforms, like I mentioned, partner of Shopify. In terms of our pricing model, we aim to have a very accessible pricing model, which means that it's um, easy to kind of just use straight away. So we have a free model, which gets you very basic insights on a limited number of wallets. We then have a basic model, which is then when you get additional features in relation to the analytics and insight for far better um, insight that you're able to gather. And then we also have a um, you know, cost quota you can see there, which increases per the amount of wallets that you use to help us effectively scale to larger plants. And then an advanced model, which once you have these insights, you understand the power and are able to then think about the personalized campaigns you can run off of those. Now, in terms of our team, we have a very experienced team, both in the Web3 space, myself as CEO, over five years experience in emerging technology, previously at Capgemini Invent. Um, Vincent, a CPO, uh, very experienced in Web3 already, um, founded a successful blockchain consulting company and previously at Accenture. And uh, Steve and Christos from a technical component, um, decades of experience in this space, um, incredibly you know, smart and intelligent people. You can see that um, the backgrounds. In terms of our roadmap, um, we successfully got pre-seed funded uh, by BFG back in um, December last year and have been building the product since. We're pre-product launch, and so we plan to launch our MVP in June. And after we launch our MVP, we are then, because um, we're building it specifically for, for marketplaces and the Web3 projects that we're working with, but then we want to integrate with Shopify um, e-commerce platforms and expand that offering, um, including scaling our AI algorithm model and also thinking importantly about the privacy component. And I think we really see the value of what we're building in this space. And we know that there are companies out there that are already thinking about elements of this. And we very much see the possibility of acquisitions from companies like Salesforce um, late summer line. That's it. And yeah, excited to. Thanks to very much for that. Thanks very much for that, Elliot and Vincent. Uh, we'll just head on to the judges for some Q and A now. Uh, just know, maybe we'll just have time for two to three questions, just in the interest of ending this event on time as well. Judges, please. Yeah, I have a I have a quick question, Elliot. Thank you for the for the presentation. So my question is, if the solution is thought for web free marketplaces, as so Montro there. I know Jeremy, I think he's in the call as well. Or if you're all also thinking about putting the solution into Web3, Web2, sorry, uh, marketplaces. And if so, what's the incentive for a Web2 user to like connect their wallet? Because in Web3, I think the, the answer is clear, but in, in Web2, let's say I go to Zara, why would I uh, connect my wallet? Yeah, so this is very much for a Web3 native audience. So I think in terms of the products that are going to find this useful is where you have customers that are already in the Web3 space. And what you might find is that, particularly for those kind of use cases, you've got some customers that are Web2 native, particularly if you're a Web2 brand going into Web3, but you already have customers that are Web3 native. And really it's companies that have a Web3 audience and want to target to those. And if you have a Web3 audience, that's also when you have data. If you're kind of entering into the space and just connecting a wallet, you don't really have a lot of information necessarily, you know, about that particular wallet. But when you are in the space, that's when it's powerful, right? And that's when our insight and analytics can help better personalize um, the products that we offer. Okay, I understand. So it's more for the Web3 marketplaces specifically. Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, cool.
Okay, yeah. awesome. I'm, I'm happy to chip in uh, if David's finished. So uh, congrats, guys. I think you're solving a real problem. You know, uh, the problem is that there are, I was real surprised by the slide saying there are no competition in this field. I, I, I personally have seen uh, maybe 20 decks and 20 teams work on exactly the same product. So I think there are a lot of teams working on this, but I guess there is demand for that. Uh, another good thing, I saw you have a quote from Zarta founder and uh, Zarta is our portfolio company. So I reached out to Nuno yesterday uh, because I was checking the, the decks before the event. And uh, yeah, he confirmed that you guys are smart and good and they're looking for, for the product. So well done on that. So I think it's all going to be about execution and, 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 and go to market strategy. So, uh, so yeah, so I, I know you guys uh, had very kind of a high level go to market strategy, but I just would like to kind of double down on you, how you're going to really approach it, uh, how you're going to grow and, and to meet all those numbers and, and be the competition here. Yeah, happy to happy to tell that one. Also, I think on the on the competition as well. Um, yeah, definitely not claiming there aren't others in this space. I think it's more of our our approach and unique offering as part of that. Um, but in terms of our go to market, really, um, we're seeing a massive amount of interest from blockchain ecosystems themselves that are looking to better expand and increase the success of the projects that they have building on their on their platform. So we have a very close relationship with, with Tezos, Nomadic Labs, and they're very excited about the products because effectively we're a growth tool for their ecosystem. And we're building the same relationship with other blockchains as well to then continue to talk to projects to kind of have that, um, yeah, best interest to kind of scale and get the word out there. So that's very much a, a model that's worked well so far. So we're planning to expand there. I think once we've successfully you know, launched and have first paying customers, the idea is to quickly integrate within the more uh, sort of current e-commerce space, I would say. So for example, in Shopify, where there's a massive amount of, of the web free adoption that's beginning, but we wanted to kind of expand first into the web free space because we know that there's obviously more data and wallets available, but later down the line, as we see greater adoption, we think that Shopify is gonna be um, a big opportunity.